YouTube, what's really good? It's your guy, Hitch. I know 2020 has been a trash year, but if you're a fan of the Jordan 5s, you're probably having a little bit better of a year than most people because this year is the Jordan 5s 25th anniversary, and Jordan brand has been releasing them left and right. Me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of Jordan 5s, but I do like a handful of the OG colorways, like these metallics from 2016. And then most recently, these alternate grapes are fire. I don't have the original grapes, so these will do. And I also have my eye on the alternate Fresh Prince of Bel Airs. Hopefully, they don't push the date back any further and they can drop on the 15th. But just like the sixes, they come with lace locks. The big difference is that they then sit in like this plastic holder. So most people struggle with how they lace them. So you know what time it is. It's time for me to show you how I lace my Jordan 5s. So this is the end goal, being able to have your lace lock sitting in the midfoot area of the sneaker where your net is still able to be seen, your tongue is still completely exposed. And depending on how you like to you know, tie your shoes, you can do that. If you want to have the sneakers completely untied, that's totally fine. But if you want to tie them up with a bow, you can do it. The popular ways that I've seen it is people will have the laces coming out of the lace lock or sometimes they'll even separate the lace lock from the plastic. I don't know, just a lot of weird stuff, but I would say the most popular is going to be having your laces just coming out of the lace lock and that's just something that I don't want to do. So step one is going to be completely untie your shoes. So once you have your laces taken out, what I would recommend doing is just making sure that the lace lock is sitting inside the holder with the opening towards the front and the back and just put that to the side. Now this should be easier for the most part than the sixes because we don't have to go behind any parts of the tongue. All the laces are pretty much going to stay in the front of the shoe. So just like on the sixes, we're going to go from the outside in on both sides and we're going to go up to the fourth lace eyelet and that's where we're going to stop. So outside in, outside in, and then just make sure your laces are even. And now to get to the fourth lace eyelet, you're going to go from the inside out. Now, before we get to the fourth lace eyelet, just to point out a few things, you're going to notice that I leave a little bit of hang time on my laces just because I don't wear my sneakers tight. Now, the Jordan 5s, personally, I think they run a little bit big. They are true to size, but... They typically have a little bit more space in them than I prefer. So I go down a half size on my Jordan 5s so I can have that snug fit. And you'll notice I'm using the first set of eyelets, not the second row. I'm using the first row. Now that you get to the fourth eyelet, this is where we're going to stop. And now we're going to bring in the lace lock. Now, the reason I said you want to make sure your lace lock has the openings in the front and the back is because you're going to enter the holder from the back. So on my right, the shoe's left, you go in through the back, pause, and this right, the shoe's left, my right shoe's left is going to then end up right back on the same side. But before we do that, we're going to also do the same thing on my left, the shoe's right side. From here, you just let it sit. And you're going to skip the first eyelet and go to the sixth eyelet. Make sure your laces are flat. And that's how it's going to sit. From here, you then go to the next eyelet.
from here, if you want to adjust this any further, you can. So if you want it to be a little bit more loose or maybe a little bit more tight onto the tongue, you can do that. But this is how I wear my fives. Now y'all know how I lace my Jordan 6s and my 5s. If you do want to see the Jordan 6 lace tutorial, just hit the link above. And if there's any sneakers that you want me to do a lace tutorial on, or just a video request in general, hit the comments, let me know. I'll do my best to get the video done. If you did like the video, if you thought the tutorial was helpful, please, I only ask one favor. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm out. The hand right, Molly there, hand night. Hand Found cake from the field, and I stay fly. Stay fly. Pull up, only question with the bed line. Kill pussy, it ain't got nine lives. No, no. Hard time like a Nissan. Nissan. Then brain, that's Tim Man. Tim Man, Tim Man. Hit a tone with the peace sign. Pro roll me the kickstand. Kick it, that's right. Your team full of has been. Has no been. hope like a Knicks fan. No hope like a Knicks fan. No we and I. No ain't just mad cause I been here. Just mad cause I been that nigga. Young King from the east side. East side. Still good on the west end. Still good on the west end. Don't run up on my G Rock. When my dudes, dudes lose, go best friend, best friend. Great later, fuck less than. Less than, less than, less than. Count money and bless us. Niggas know I'm the best man. No